Hey you guys, so much has been happening recently. I graduated with my bachelor's degree. We've got a lot of stuff going on out at the property. Fortunately, some bad stuff has happened. We've got some issues that we're dealing with with uh, regards to the wetlands on our properties. That's fun. And um, unfortunately, we haven't really talked about it much because we're just not quite ready to really talk about it. But we recently lost um, a very, very, very dear friend of ours who was like a brother to us but in light of these hardships, we received an amazing blessing that kind of lifted our spirits and gave us something good to think about. Recently, Lowe's was giving away, they had this big huge coupon giveaway basically where you had to like text a number to this, text this word to a phone number and you got a random coupon that could be valued at anywhere between five and five hundred dollars. And Davis texted it off of both of his phones because he has a work phone and a personal phone. And he got five dollars on each and I couldn't get mine to work so I kind of gave up for a time and then later that day I tried it again realized I had actually texted the wrong phone number and so I texted the right phone number and I got my coupon code oh, whoa, whoa, get off of it love bug there's love bugs everywhere and I got a hundred dollars off of anything and it wasn't like a hundred dollars off of a two hundred dollar purchase or something like that it was literally a hundred dollars off of anything. Now, I wish I would have vlogged this. I didn't vlog and I'm so bummed that I didn't, but I can still share with you the story. I was like a kid in a candy store at Lowe's with this coupon. I was shopping. I was like, we're going to get some fruit trees. So we're going through and we're looking at all the different fruit trees and I'm like thinking, you know, fruit trees are normally, they're like 50 to 60, 40 to 60 dollars at Lowe's. So I'm like, well, we could get like two or three fruit trees. No, I found some in the back younger fruit trees that were going between 10 and 15 dollars a piece. We ended up getting eight or ten. Was it eight? I think it was eight. Did we get eight fruit trees? I think we got eight fruit trees. Yeah, eight. Yes, we did. We got eight fruit trees. So I'm gonna share with you guys what fruit trees we got. The first three plants that we got and Davis or sorry. So how many, how many plants did you count, buddy? Did we get nine? Yes. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we got eight. We Don't got eight. Nine. We got eight. And then we still have our fruit and apple trees. So the current food forest, now don't mind the overgrown grass right now. Um, I've got to get out here and mow because this is currently sectioned off from the horses and cows so they can't come in here and mow this down. But this is going to be getting mowed down. But some of the things that we got is we've got three fig trees. First what we got is a magnolia fig and um, I'm excited for figs. I just hear, <gasps> oh is that what I think we got? Yes. Oh my gosh look! So these have been out here for about um, two weeks now. That's how busy we've been. So these have been out here for about two weeks now and look! Oh my gosh we have figs! Oh there's another one! There's no one everywhere Oh my now. goodness. We also got a white Marcellis, Mar Marcellis, Marcellis, white Marcellis fig. And this one's really bunched out. It's more, looks like it's gonna be more like a bush. I'm not entirely sure how to train these, but it is, we've got lots of new growth coming in and it's doing really, it's doing really well. Then the last fig that it's we got. A, it's an Olympian fig. Olympian fig, yep, yes. an Olympian fig. So we've got an Olympian, a white Marcellis, and a Magnolia fig. And I'm excited for this. Next up, we've got a variegated, well, how is it? Is it Centennial? This is a Centennial variegated kumquat. Now, if you're unfamiliar with um, what variegated means, variegated 
is when the leaves almost look like they're painted. So this, see how it's got like markings on it? That is what a variegated, what it means whenever the plant is variegated. And it's actually a mutation, but it does not affect how the plant grows from my understanding, but it is very, very pretty as it grows. Next up, we've got a, what is this? This is a calamondin. And unfortunately, we thought this was more like the halos because Leon loves eating the halos from the store, but we're finding out that's not the case. But we'll see. Um, if it's not, then we can use them for making like marmalade. But we've got one fruit starting to come in and we've got a lot of blossoms. There's more little fruit starting to come in. So we're in Florida, so we have to grow key lime. So this is a key lime tree. One of my best friends, Rachel, loves key lime pie. So that's something that we're very excited about. Something I didn't know about limes is that they're spiky. That was something interesting that I learned is that the stems are spiky. But they aren't the only ones that are spiky. The only other ones that are spiky are... Ponderosa lemons. <laughs> Ponderosa lemons. Lemons in general are also spiky. I did not know this, but this is a Ponderosa lemon. And so we need to mulch this. We got to make another trip out here to mulch these, but right now it's rainy season, so they're doing good in spite of us not having mulch because they're constantly getting rained on. So I do need to make a trip out here to mulch. I've got one, two, three trees that still need mulch. And of course we have our two apple trees. Now these are, if you didn't watch our video before, these are four varieties of low chill apples that are supposed to require only around 100 chill hours a year to be able to produce fruit. So they're supposed to be able to produce fruit. This is kind of an experiment. We'll see if we can. But they are doing good. Then we've got two peach trees. And these are also low chill peaches requiring around 100 chill hours a year. Four varieties grafted, so they're self-pollinating just like the apples. No, baby, we're not gonna have fruit until next year. Sorry. I know, baby. Next year, we, we pinched off all of the buds so that the tree could further establish itself. And then we're gonna more likely have a bumper crop next year because we did that. That's what the instructions said. So, are you excited for peaches and apples? Yes. yes. <laughs>